In this video, we are going to talk about 10 money facts everybody should know in 2021. So before starting this video, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. How much do you truly know about the modern day world of finance and how well do you know yourself? When it comes to money, things are changing at such a rapid rate that even advice and ideas from a few years ago may be out of date. Here are the 10 money facts everybody should know in 2021. So let's start. Number 10. The definition of cryptocurrency. You could be forgiven for thinking that cryptocurrencies, of which Bitcoin is the most well-known, sound like something Captain Kirk would use to pay for drinks on board the Starship Enterprise. But that is not the case. In reality, though, they are a digital channel of exchanging information. What exactly are they used for? It is dependent on the situation. You can use them to purchase nearly anything on the internet, but not everyone will accept them as a form of payment. As a result, cryptocurrencies are not expected to completely replace credit cards and cash in the near future. However, in recent years, they have generated quite a stir. Number 9. How to deposit a check with your phone. We all write less checks these days, but the vast majority of us still receive checks and must deposit them from time to time. If going to your local bank or ATM is a hassle for you, you should know that depositing a paper check using your smartphone takes only a few minutes or seconds. When it comes to remotely depositing checks, banks and credit unions are the most common providers. In most cases, all you have to do is download your bank's app, find the deposit check option, take photos of both sides of the check, and follow the simple instructions provided by the app. Number 8. How to use an e-budget tool. Some of us dread the word, budget, as much as we dread the word, dentist appointment. Is it truly necessary, and how painful will it be? It doesn't have to be painful. Budgeting is similar to cleaning your teeth in that a little planning ahead of time goes a long way. You need a budget, YNAB, is a tool that helps you put every dollar to work and assures that living paycheck to paycheck is a thing of the past. Our favorite budgeting tool is YNAB, but there are several that are geared to different requirements and tastes. Number 7. How to get cash back if you shop online. You may avoid going out in the rain or snow to get supplies by buying online, and it can also help you send that last-minute birthday gift. However, don't just waste money while purchasing online, budget carefully. Cashback websites like Rakuten, Top Cashback, and Swagbucks Shop, as well as mobile apps like Ibotta, Honey, and Drop, can help you save money while you shop. It only takes a few seconds to sign up, and then you'll have access to cash rebates on thousands of products. Number 6. How to hunt for travel bargains online, social media scam. Do you yearn for a vacation? There are numerous travel websites on the internet that can assist you in saving money on travels. You are overpaying if you do not use them. From Facebook to Twitter to Instagram, social media can provide a soothing escape from work or a fulfilling opportunity to reconnect with old friends and coworkers. But, again, don't let your guard down there. Scammers are well aware that social media is a fertile ground for their schemes. Don't fall for get-rich-quick schemes or anything similar. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Number 5. The ABCs of ETFs. The term, ETF, refers to an investment fund that is traded on stock exchanges. Because ETFs were only introduced in the United States in 1993, your business school professor may not have covered them depending on your age. They're now a popular investment option. ETFs, like index mutual funds, track the performance of a certain index, such as the Standard & Poor's 500 Index. Number 4. Why you might need a 529 account. Tuition rates have risen dramatically, as we all know. The magic number for college savings is 529, regardless of whether your child is 4 or 14. A 529 plan is a tax-advantaged savings account run by states or schools, with funds that grow tax-free. To help you choose a plan, you might wish to speak with a financial advisor. However, once it's set up, you can make deposits, even modest ones, in a matter of seconds. That'll get you to the top of the class. Number 3. How to run a side hustle. There are a plethora of websites that can assist you in landing various types of tasks if you need some extra cash. 
For freelance writing, translation, marketing, design, computer programming, and other comparable projects, there are sites like Fiverr. Rover can help you find dog walking, pet sitting, and house sitting opportunities. Make money driving for people with Uber. The options are limitless. Just remember to set aside a portion of each paycheck for the IRS. Number 2. How to keep an eye on your credit score. What's the state of your credit? You may not find out until you ask for a loan or credit card, at which point it may be too late. Take a look at your credit report first. Request it from Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, the three major credit bureaus. Each of these credit reporting organizations is required by federal law to provide consumers with one free copy of their credit reports every 12 months. Examine it for errors and oddities. Find out your credit score after you've gone over your credit report. Check out six companies that give free credit scores to the general public to learn how to get one for free. Number 1. How to recognize a phishing email. It's easy to believe that you'll be immune to phishing emails, which try to persuade you to give personal financial information so that you can be robbed. Smart individuals, on the other hand, are victims of email frauds. A few pointers. Don't open attachments in emails you didn't expect to get. Any email claiming to be from your credit card company or bank should be treated with caution. Why would they ask you to supply your financial information again if they already have it? If you have any problems, contact your bank or credit card provider directly, using the phone number on your card, not a phone number sent in an email. What do you think of our list? Which thing do you like from above list? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.